Okay, in this next part, we will going to be building on the same idea of working with the phone class. So, so far, we were able to call the getters on the phone class, and we were able to see that we can pull out the phone number information about an employee. So now what we will be looking at is to be able to change the phone number. So as you may have seen right up here for employee number one, we have been able to change the employee ID to 100. So now we're going to try a few more changes here. So I can actually set the employee's pay to a value, let's say 78,000.56 cents. Similarly, if I would like to change the phone number of this employee, other than the default phone number, which is 999-555-5555, I cannot just simply say emp one dot set phone number or set area code as we have seen in the last tutorial that both of those setters actually belong to the phone class so for me to able to access those setters i must go through an instance of the phone class which in our case is phone emp so i am calling through the emp which is an instance of employee class PHEMP, which is an instance of phone class, to now help me get to the setter for area code. So now I have this new area code 262 that I would like to enclose in double quotes because it's a string. And then what I would like to do is <clears throat> write out a phone number. Also a string, so I'm going to just leave out a space. Don't call that number. I don't know whose number that is. So anyway, so we will be now displaying the employee one information again, and you will be able to see the difference between before and after because we have a print data that we are calling before the change, and we have a print data that we are calling after the change. So here we go. So we have, for let me scroll up to employee number one and increase the output pane so that you can see all the output that we have generated so far. So current employee count is one, employee number one. This is the current employee ID, this much this gets paid, and this is his phone number, the default, everything default. However, the employee count is still one, the employee number is still number one employee, but now we have changed the ID, we have changed the pay, and we have also changed the phone number. So, oh, I should have changed this to set phone number. That's why I'm getting another logical error here. Okay, let me try again to run this example. That's why I was getting a very long area code. Now it's fixed, okay. That's why I was wondering like, why do I have such a long phone number? Uh, so I have a count one, employee arrival count one, this is the employee ID, this is the employee pay default, employee phone number default. Employee count one, employee number one, but now the changed ID, the changed pay, and the changed phone number. So just remember, when you copy paste, make sure to keep the changes in place as well. Otherwise, you may run into the similar problems that I am um, running into. So anyway, so that allows uh, allowed us to change the phone number and to work with the default and then change the default values. Well, catch you in the next one as we talk about inner classes. So, so far we talked about everything, including the composition, and that will be the last topic and last part for this example. Thank you very much.